I am an optimist, and my optimism is with a younger generation, the younger generation who actually now are becoming very aware of the risks of social media, the false news, the false identities, and they're starting to embrace science. And some of them are a group of children whose mothers refuse to vaccinate them. Heidi Larson studierte Anthropologie an der University of California und promovierte zum Doktor 1990. Sie ist Professorin für Anthropologie, Risiko- und Entscheidungswissenschaft an der London School of Hygiene und Tropical Medizine und Direktorin des Vaccine Confidence Project. Ihr Forschungsschwerpunkt liegt auf dem Vertrauen der Öffentlichkeit in Impfstoffe. Last spring of 2019, 18-year-old Ethan Lindenberg went on Reddit and put out a post. My mother doesn't believe in vaccines. She's really worried they cause autism. In fact, she strongly believes that. But I'm 18. I'm a senior in high school. I can drive a car, I can vote, and I could go get my own vaccine. Can someone tell me where to get it? That post went viral. It started to get a whole younger movement going. I saw Ethan speak at a conference, the Global Vaccine Summit at the EU last fall. He spoke eloquently, and I was impressed in front of a whole forum And he said, he told his personal story, and then he said to the group, he said, you know, everybody talks about misinformation, but I want to tell you about a different kind of misinformation. And that's misinformation that says that people like my mother, who is a loving mother, is a bad person because she doesn't give me vaccines. Well, I want to tell all of you that she didn't give me a vaccine because she loves me and because she believed that that was the best thing for me. I think differently, and I will never change her mind, but she's not a bad person. That was the message from a teenager. Empathy, kindness, and understanding. We have an abundance of scientific information to debunk false rumors. That's not our problem. We have a relationship problem, not a misinformation problem. Misinformation is the symptom, not the cause. If people trust, they'll put up with a little risk to avert a much bigger one. The one thing that I want and I hope for is that we, as a medical and health community, have the moral courage and humility to productively engage, like Ethan, with those who disagree with us. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs>